But my, my, my cry and my prayer is, can we just start to bring our children, our young children now, to respect women? But before our young children should respect women, eh? The mothers need to respect themselves. A lot of boys transfer their hatred and aggression from their mom to their spouse. Because they cannot confront their mom, they keep it in. And when any girl or their wife tries that thing that their mother does that they hate, they unleash on that child, on the person. Mm -hmm. In front of their moms, especially those that have narcissistic moms, in front of their moms, we think, oh my God, they love each other. No, they don't. He's just tolerating her. And he takes out the frustration because I always tell people one thing. Show me a man and his mother and I will show you him and his wife. A man that loves his mother, that knows when the mother sits like this and says, mommy, what's wrong? When his wife sits like that, he will also ask her, what's wrong, babes? Are you okay? There are certain manners and mannerisms that a child picks from the home and extends into adulthood. A man that has a good mother, a loving mother, is not 100%, but a man that has a loving mother would extend the love and everything to the woman, to his woman. Sometimes you find people say, that guy is so soft. Mm -hmm. He's not, you know that he's so soft, don't try him. But with you, because of his mother and maybe his sisters, there's some guys who joke with their mom and their sister. Mm -hmm. And they're also very, very loving. Mm -hmm. And those are the guys that, when there is an issue with mom and the wife, it kills them. Because all they want is the peace. That is true. They do not, they do not want to hit one for the other. Right. So they don't know how to manage it. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. Victoria, mm -hmm. some other person just said, Yena, you also need to teach women how to respect men. And I think that's okay. coming from a woman. That's See. Mm -hmm. Hi, Charlene. Oh, how are you? Now, you see respect. Like I said, the woman has to respect herself. Children mirror behavior. A lot of, uh, is it not a woman that <laughs> I don't even know where to go. Is it not women that we see on blogs that have children that are openly dating married men and stuff? When they have children, they have children, they have sons, they have daughters, right? Now imagine how their own children will grow up to see things. I remember I once confronted somebody, pay. this thing you're doing is not right. He said, I beg, I beg, my mom is the third wife, please. Spare me, Victoria. And it's true. My mom is the third wife and I'm here telling her not to get a married man. Am I all right? What's that? that <laughs> well, the thing is, when you respect yourself as a mother, the children will respect you. Don't you know, there are some children that beat their parents. So they beat their mom, they call their mom a prostitute, you prostitute, get out. They see what the mom is doing. So those children will grow up, like I said, and extend the hatred and the behavior to the people they are with. So you, okay, let me use a typical example. It's not like I don't have good legs, but I don't, well, and plus the weather, I don't feel comfortable wearing mini skirts, right? And for me, I feel that right, your dressing is part of respecting yourself. And I always sound it to my daughter. Dress as you want to be addressed. Forget your being born, you're born and bred in London. Dress as you want to be addressed. If you want to walk into that office and own the office, you need to dress like that. If you want to walk in there and the men, instead of listening to you, they're looking at your chest, then, you know, that's your problem. Now, how do I dress? I need to dress in such a way that my daughter will not say, but mom, look at you now. If she can't say it now that she's 12, she'll say it when she's 16. But you know what? Uh, Victoria, I have to come in here. 
So mm -hmm. in the, just so that we're all on, are you saying that when you get in situations domestic you have had are you saying the dressing is responsible for what they think? I that's a different that's a different topic. Oh. Yeah. See, I understand. But we're talking about respect. We're talking about respect now. Mm? Clothing is what brings respect. I need, I need that. I need to a large extent. To a large extent. Clothing brings or breeds. Let me say breeds. Respect. You cannot wear. Okay, let me say, you know that like a kind of swimming trunk top, for instance. Mm -hmm. Eh? with a tight pair of trousers and you're giving a presentation in an office well well there's a place for everything i totally agree if that's what you're saying so that's where clothing comes yeah. in well yeah in 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 a, in a corporate office in a corporate setting there's a way to dress when you're going to a club there's a way to dress in your own I don't want people go, because I, I think I but you know how people get, get younger people younger women also, you know, and I don't want a situation where it seemed like we're giving a pass to people who abuse women because of how they're dressed because that no that one is different that one is different yeah. that one is different oh, guys, when, when you dress to go to the club okay and one cycle is triggered. Uh -huh. That's different. That's so different. What we are talking, you remember where this gene started from? You said respect. Mm. Yeah? And I now brought myself as an example. Who Sin, 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 very, Cynthia. And I brought respect as Padre. You said teach our daughters how to respect men, right? Oh, that was where someone commented. Hey, teach our daughters how to respect men. It still boils down to the house. Eh? Now, if I teach you how to respect your brothers, they are guys. And when I am with her in her room, I will tell her that my daughter, you see, the way you reason is, the, is not the way your brother will reason, and it's not the way most men reason. Mm -hmm. like, like I was telling my cousin the other day, she had an issue with another cousin, and I said, please, when you know that somebody is hot and talking and you know, raise, tempers are being raised. Be quiet. Yes. Be quiet. And that's why I tell my daughter, that it's your mouth that you flap to your brother. It's because of me, oh, you whip your mouth one day. Don't, but I don't say it in front of him. Oh. I'll call it, I'll say, it, don't talk like this. Don't talk like that. He's your brother. Don't. Talk to him like this or send him a text. Right? And say this thing that you did. Avoid all those conflicts. So you're teaching these things from the house. Now, what am I teaching my daughter? Conflict resolution. That in future, when you are with your friends or your lover, whatever, and tempers are rising, leave. Send a text. Uh, or just leave at that point. So you're also teaching the child respect. And part of respect is how do you talk to the person? How do you also present yourself to the person? Okay. You know, there are so many things. So we've got that topic. Victoria, mm -hmm. why, yeah, before you go, because I can see you mm -hmm. need to rest. But I appreciate it. Yes. No, but you see, as I'm hearing that, my body was like... <laughs> what about the thing? There's another question here, which, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that you can help with. This is from... Oh, this is from a guy. Okay. Hey. It says, now we've been doing this breaking limits and there's been a young lady, yes, was sharing her story. She said, Abia sounds strong now, but how can I be strong after a divorce? I'm scared of leaving my wife because everyone, including myself and my children, will think I'm a failure. Interesting. This is from hey. a wrote to me, Ben. Interesting. Ben, please, where, which, you see? The way I talk to people, I always consider their environmental, I mean, this geographical is, location. I don't know about wonderful, but we don't know. But clearly, he's a, in a relationship that is not working. So he wants to stay on. And I've always said, staying on for the kids. Those kids, like, just, they're going to end up, you need to be happy to give back happy. But anyway, 
what can you tell Ben? He says he's afraid. He doesn't know how, because he thinks it's going to be a failure if he leaves his wife. He thinks himself included and his children would think that he's a failure. Yikes. First of all, 